All right, Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechak Badash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Loving honors to my fellow Akim, pushing the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom Wam, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners and the sincere subscribers of the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the brother Yadai from Jim Atlanta Church, coming with another lesson to the Spirit. It's going to be um, entitled or based upon the um, the title or theme of uh, continue to fight during your sifting seasons, you know, in which, um, you know, men and brothers who um, are in the truth and in the fight, you know, of, of course, um, exhort the body and uh, younger men and, you know, the body as a whole, you know, about continuing to fight and endure and how those tough times will surely come, you know, and, you know, really no words can really prepare you or us or, you know, the body for exactly, um, we all will face because, uh, uh, the tribulation and hardships that we face one, you know, it's the real deal, man. You know, it's the real deal in a sense that it's really going to try your and our faith, you know, it's going to, it's going to be a real test and a real trial in which it's going to hurt, man. You know, it's going to hurt, you know, there's going to be times in which, um, you or we may not feel like there's a way out or, you know, we may literally feel the, the Holy spirit, um, you know, uh, uh, beginning to, uh, uh, flee from us, you know, in which, that goes into the fight of faith, you know, and, and even um, how King David, you know, put up a prayer in the book of Psalms for uh, 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 praying to and begging the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that the Holy Spirit continues to dwell and work with him. Because, like I said, those tough, trying moments will surely come. And that's that's in the scriptures as well. And I'm going to get into the precepts and just really, you know, want to set this up, you know, because, like I said, no words you know, that uh, we or men can really prepare us because um, we all have to, 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 to face, you know, a high level of tests and a high level of uh, uh, affliction, so to speak, okay, for us to all be made uh, uh, and be sure as far as being of the elect of the nation of Israel with the oncoming uh, judgment and destruction that, that is to come, man. You know, so I'm going to get into it. I'm going to start at the book of Luke, the, 20, the 22nd chapter. I'm we'll starting verse 31. It says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath, hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy, fit, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. You see? So, you know, even as Yahweh Shai was uh, 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 exhorting and, you know, uh, uh, telling um, Apostle Peter, uh, 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 Apostle Peter, uh, 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 you know, the head disciple, um, disciple Peter, you know, Simon Peter, that, you know, the spirit was on Satan to really bring Peter to that, uh, uh, you know, bring his feet to the fire, man, you know, to the point that, you know, it was going to try him and his faith to the point that, you know, Satan had a, 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 a burning, a hot desire to actually, uh, pull um him away from the faith and from the the path you know of being uh um in the right you know being on on you know, the right hand side you know being righteous so to speak you know and 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 you know continuing that uh that path you know in in the will of serving the heavenly father yahweh by shimawa shai you know through the spirit and the power of our lord yahweh shai you know but what did Yahweh Shai say? In the 32nd verse, it says, But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. You see, so our Lord Yahweh Shai pretty much told uh, Simon Peter that um, he had prayed for him, you know, to, to, to be covered and to continue. And the same thing for um, the hopeful elect, you know. You know, and, and, and ultimately, if... Uh, we are found to be of the election, you know, the um, 
the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashi Ba'am Shai, um, answered the, the prayer and the supplication of our Lord Yahweh Shai to continue to uh, uh, put his hedge about us, you know, that we aren't sifted, you know. Like I said, when those sifting seasons and those tough times come, man, because they will come, you know. And like I said, um, you know, apostles, elders and elder brothers, you know, even just men with, you know, a little bit more um, experience in the fight can, can you know, verbally warn, warn us of these things, you and us of these things. But ultimately, you know, when, when you in that fire, man, it's hot, man. You know, it's hot. And like I said... And there's times in which it feels like there is no way out, you know, but the way out is to continue to hold on to what you have. The scriptures say, hold fast to what you have, man, that our Lord Yahweh Shah returns quickly, man. Okay. And we'll, um, you know, there's rough paraphrasing. We'll um, render unto a man according to his works. Okay. And according to your works, also um, uh, uh, your works are an extension of your faith, you know. So not to belabor that point, I just want to bring that. Okay, now from there, I'm going to go to Acts, the 14th chapter. And go down to verse 21. This is Acts 14. In verse 21, it says, And when they had preached the gospel in that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. It was that city, it was go up a little further, it was, I believe it was Derby. Okay, but going to the point. Verse 22, confirm the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. In which I'm just going to, I didn't look at this before, but I'm going to, um, before the lesson, I'm going to go into this word tribulation. I'm going to reread that verse, but because it says that we must, that we must through, um, through much tribulation. Okay. That word tribulation is, uh, Flip, flipsis, flipsis. It says, a pressing, pressing together pressure. You see, like I even said, you know, um, men can warn and ex ex exhort you and us about that pressure. You know, that um, you know that the the hopeful elect must face in order to actually be counted in the number of the elect in the election. Okay, but it's one thing to hear about it. It's a whole other thing to experience it and have to and have to you know go through it, man. You know, and even myself, you know. Of course, we don't always, um, you know, we don't always uh, uh, go into the ins and outs of what we always deal with. But even by myself, I've been going, through, you know, I've you know been dealing with certain things, you know, for a while now, and it's been really, I'll say, my most difficult test and trial in the faith, you know. But in, in the back of my mind, you know, it's always been a. a um, a thought that, you know, um, you got to keep going, man. You got to fight that pressure. You know, you have to uh, 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 do the things that are pleasing to the Most High, Yahweh by Shema Shai, and just keep pressing forward each and every day, okay? It says, metaphorically, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, and straight. So it's the straight, that straight gate, you know, in which, you know, uh, has been spoken of and, you know, that we are familiar with, all right, through the Spirit. So Acts 14, 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So we must, through that pressure, tribulation, affliction, okay, enter into uh, um, the kingdom of the Most High. All right, indigenous finishing now. Um, Wisdom Solomon 7, okay. Um, start at verse 22, it says, for wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me, for in her an understanding spirit, holy, one only, manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is quick, as good quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good, going into wisdom and how it works in all these uh, uh, matters and manners. It says, verse 23, kind to man, steadfast. And that's the main word I want to kind of highlight is steadfast. All right. Sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits. You see, this is the this is and really I just want to say that this is how we're able to continue to fight and persevere through our sifting seasons by using and uh, uh, um, and understanding wisdom. Okay, and the, and the how through these situations, you know, the heavenly father, how by Shema was shy, really is. Growing us in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6. 
okay that uh, uh uh you know even though we may not always see the light at the end of the tunnel we know that we are continuing to fight the good fight of faith and and be and remain on that straight gate and really knowing and accepting you know that uh, uh quitting is not an option man you know at this point we continue to fight and persevere even though we're not perfect we continue to fight and persevere and get better then we'll get the victory man you know some of them you know i'm gonna end the lesson off here Lord, we've only been edified. Once again, before I close out, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechak Wadash, double irons to my apostles and elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Loving eyes, my fellow Akim, pushing the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Lord, we've only been edified. Until next time, Shalom Wah.